I'm Hank from Nile Systems, and we're going to start up a mid-size kiln today. Nile mid-size kilns include our L300, L500, and L1200. These all heat at between 80 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit and are controlled by identical equipment. So if you have one of these series, this session is for you. We're here in the Nile factory, and our demonstration unit is an L500. Obviously, this isn't installed in a kiln, but for demonstration purposes, it really doesn't need to be. You should have installed a disconnect switch conveniently close to your kiln. Ours is over here on the wall, and it's on. Before I turn the system on, I want to show you the blower. If you're running three-phase power, you want to check to see which way the blower fan is turning. It should be running clockwise. If the rotation is pulling air down instead of up, it's running backwards. So shut off your power at the disconnect. Now go to the blower contactor and reverse two legs, T1 and T2, restart, and the blower should be turning perfectly. Now let's take a look at the blower contactor. That's this unit here. This is T1 and T2. If your blower is running backwards, merely reverse these two and you should be in business. Next, turn your fans on. I can't show you the fans because we don't have them connected here. But the exercise is just the same as it was for the blower. Make sure these are all blowing the same way, that is toward the loading door. If not, disconnect the power and switch two legs, T1 and T2 of each offending fan, and then restart. Next, let's check the heater function. Turn on your heat, and set the dry bulb at some number higher than ambient. Which it is. You may see, you should see, the heat light come on, which we have. And you may also hear a heat contactor click on inside the unit. Check your vents by lowering the dry bulb setting, which I've already done, and turning your heat on, turning your exhaust on, and your compressor off. This should cause your vents to open. We bring one for demonstration purposes here, and let's see if it works. And it does! The last check is to see if the compressor is operating. Close your chamber, run the dry bulb setting up to 90 or 100, which I've done. Turn the compressor on. And lower the wet bulb, which I've done. After five minutes, the compressor should start. We're not going to wait for five minutes. Trust me, it runs fine. Now that all the fans are running the right way, the vents function properly, and the compressor works, it's time to set the controls. Go to your manual for a kiln schedule. Adjust the dry bulb by simply pressing the arrows up or down and pushing save this button here on the left. Address, adjust the wet bulb the same way and you're in business. Happy drying.